The last topping, the star. Ah, lovely stuff. Oh, hello. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, I'm all excited because it's Christmas time again. What do you think? I've fully decorated the tree all by myself this year. I might as say, I've put some good work into it. Then again, you know, I guess you can never go over the top with Christmas tree decorating. <laughs> um, yeah. So, uh, yes, you know, it's, it's getting close to Christmas. I'm counting the sleeps until uh, Santa brings those presents. Um, but, you know, I've had a few already. Just look at this. Look at these lovely presents. But of course, you've got to wait till 25th of December to open them. But it looks beautiful. <laughs> this is a thing called a present. The whole thing starts with a box. So I, <laughs> I've been watching The Nightmare Before Christmas recently and getting all the songs into my head. And I must say, the song What's This is definitely the song to listen to on the 1st of December. Because, uh, you know, I think, you know, when it gets to 1st of December, that's when I say to people, yes, I allow you to start talking about Christmas. I allow you to start singing all the carols and the Christmas songs, start getting the decorations out, um, start eating all the mince pies and the chocolates from the advent calendars, start watching the Christmas films and all that, all the Christmas related stories from your favourite TV shows like Doctor Who. Um, you know, it feels right to, to watch all the Christmas specials. Because when you watch them outside of the season, it feels like you're going to get bad luck. Sorry, I'm a bit superstitious that way. <laughs> uh, I've had a few cards as well. Some lovely cards from friends at university. I'll show them. And I'm glad this year, because I, I, I got cards for friends at university and, and some presents to go with them too. And I'm so glad. It's such a sense of re relief that I managed to get all the cards and presents to the friends. Like, you know, sometimes when you want to send a card to, to one of your friends and they're not there on the final day of school or university or they're not at the society and then you've got to cling on to it all of the Christmas period and then for the start of January and then finally, like finally, here it is. Ugh, you know, <laughs> luckily I don't have to deal with any of that this year. Hooray! <laughs> yeah, so it's great. Oh yeah, and just the other day I got a lovely Christmas card from my uh, lovely uh, team that I worked with over the summer, back in uh, back in the summer, yeah. So <laughs> it's a great card. I've always wanted a Postman Pat card. It just feels right. <laughs> so yes, thank you very much, everyone who's sent me Christmas cards. I love you so much. Uh, yes, yes, love in the tree. What do you think of my Christmas jumper, by the way? I wasn't too sure about it myself to begin with. Um, two years ago. It, it sort of grows on you. <laughs> but I mean, yes, if you can't see it properly, this is a, um, this isn't one of the wool, traditional wool jumpers. It's one of those, like, you know, school jumpers, but it's red. Um, but it works. It, it, I feel comfortable in it. And, you know, I, I hate it when people say, you know, National Christmas Jumper Day is just one day, and they wear the jumper for one day a year. Come on, people! It's been Christmas! The whole of December! Wear this for the whole of the month! Make the most of it! You know, it's great. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do a little rant there. Um, but yes, yes, you know, it's, it's great. Really get into the Christmas season, you know. Get out those crackers and those corny jokes inside and the little gifts. Start getting ready for your Christmas dinners, because, you know, the parents will work hard to bring you that lovely turkey on the on the dinner table. Um, and of course, kids, you know, don't forget to leave your mince pies and your glass of milks or your bottle of sherry for uh, for old Santa when he comes down that chimney. You know, <laughs> I sometimes think with this jumper, I could be Santa's apprentice someday. Someday. I do my, I do my best. Oh yes, the, of course, the other thing, you know, mom made me watch Love Actually. Because it's, it's Christmas. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yes. I won't bother you for too long. So, thank you for listening. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas. And hopefully I'll do one last video before the end of the year. See you real soon. Bah humbug.
wait, 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 wait. Just before you go and just before I forget, <laughs> just to show I'm I'm not that cold-hearted or, or strict about the whole, you know, keep Christmas talk only within the Christmas period. The one thing I do allow people to talk about outside of the Christmas period is um, when you're getting ready for the big Christmas meal. You know, like when you're having a meal with work at, uh, friends at work or friends at school or friends in general. You know, because you know, you know, you need to know the right number of people who are coming to the Christmas meal um, when you uh, phone open book the, re the venue you're going to months in advance. Because, you know, I, I remember at the end of my summer internship, people at work were talking about getting ready for the Christmas meal in, in September. Um, so that I, I truly understand and I truly respect and I allow outside of the Christmas period. Everything else stays within it. <laughs> okay, take care everybody. Merry Christmas. See you later.